In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five ordinal projects that I think are going to continue to moon this cycle. We are entering phase two of the bull market, and if you're interested in making a ton of money and making a ton of Bitcoin, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Let's get into it. JT and here on the channel we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis and in today's video we're going to be talking about ordinals. Ordinals are going to be one of the biggest narratives in the second phase of the bull market out of any other narrative that is going to happen from any coin. I don't care if you're in Solana, I don't care if you're in Ethereum, I don't care if you're in Matic, I don't care if you're in any coin. And Bitcoin has shown with all of the mania that we've seen with uh, meme coins on Solana and meme coins on base and meme coins here and there, the market appetite is less about fundamentals and more about number go up. And I think the largest pool of liquidity that we have available in the space is going to come from the Bitcoin network, which means you need to learn about ordinals, BRC20 tokens, runes, all of that. So let's get into it. All right, so you may not be super impressed with my first pick, but I think that a lot of the market is sleeping on the potential of bitmaps. The thing that is interesting about bitmaps is what we're seeing in the market is privileged authority mints. So this is coming out of the track ecosystem. This is coming from uh, you know tap upgrades of the track ecosystem. You're gonna start to see more infrastructure similar to launch pads, except in this ecosystem, they're gonna be called block pads, where if you hold certain assets, you're going to have privileged authority to mint new coins that the market is going to be thirsty for. So bitmaps is kind of my number one pick for that. If we take a look at the chart, it has experienced a huge, huge decline. We've come down here from the all-time high of 700,000 sats all the way down to nearly uh, 70,000 sats. So nearly a 90% retracement. Now I know what you're thinking, why would you buy something that's gone down 90%? We are not in a bear market. We are in a bull market. We are entering phase two of the bull market where you experience a mania phase. And with the upcoming utility that's coming to bitmaps and unlocking all of the metaverse assets and everything that's coming down the pipe, I'm telling you, bitmaps are going to be huge. Not only are we going to recover to this 700,000 sat mark, we're probably going to go beyond that to 7 million sats, maybe even 70 million sats. So there's a lot of upside potential here in bitmaps. Do your own research. A lot of this stuff is extremely volatile, as we can clearly see here. We had a 90% retracement very volatile, do your own research. But to me, this looks like a bottoming pattern. We are at the floor, give or take a few sats. And uh, I think this one's gonna be really huge. Keeping on the theme of block drops, uh, Nat Cats are one of the original UNATs. It is the original UNAT. UNAT stands for Unique Non-Arbitrary Token. It is a different kind of NFT where the Bitcoin block data actually builds these cats. Bitcoin built every single one of these cats. It takes the data from the blockchain and it applies different attributes. It, it changes the color, it changes the eye direction, it changes all of the different traits attached to this NFT. And it's very unique. We haven't seen anything like it before. And I'm a big fan of firsts. And when we take a look at the chart, we had an all-time high of... Uh, of 14 million sats per NatCat, and we're all the way down. The lowest price that we saw in NatCats was around 2 million sats, and uh, we're hitting a floor. Look at this pattern here. Look at this. This is showing that we are at a floor. We have flatlined. All that we need is increased demand. And with the layer two infrastructure coming to Bitcoin, with the uh, uh, block pads, these uh, blockchain uh, launch pads that are coming to Bitcoin, you're gonna see a lot of demand for this asset. Not financial advice, do your own research. Don't just take my word for it, but you're definitely gonna to want to look into NatCats because it's going to be a winner in my opinion. Keeping on the DMT uh, Nat theme, uh, this is the first Nat token that was ever minted. Not a ton of utility. This was kind of released as a test for the DMT infrastructure. But I think our uh, friends over at Blockrunner have some 
have some plans for this one. And you can see, again, we're, we're flatlined. What does flatlining mean? It means that the sellers are gone. The sellers are exhausted. When the sellers are gone, all you need is some sort of hype. All you need is some sort of narrative to take over to hit the demand side of things, and you will see price expansion. Again, do your own research. Now I have two other coins that I want to bring your attention to. This is for the degenerates out there. This is high risk, high reward, okay? Emphasis on risk. You know, when people hear high risk, high reward, what do they hear? Oh, reward. No, this is high risk, high reward. Take into consideration the risk side of these next two calls. I just want to bring it to your attention. Again, we're going to see how this all plays out. But I think that GIB, G-I-B, this is a TAP token. Uh, it's had uh, a pretty, it didn't even get a ton of attention, honestly. But uh, this is one of those meme coins that has utility. So Benny the dev, the, uh, the operator of the track protocol, I, I didn't talk about track today, but track is another one that you definitely wanna take a look at, track and tap. Uh, this is a tap token. And there's been whispers out there that this is also going to be a utility token. Currently, it's very memeable. A lot of people are making a lot of memes uh, related to Gib. But I think that you're going to have a meme coin that also has utility. So this is huge speculation. We don't have a lot to go off. Again, you have to do your own research and, and you know trade these with your own uh, strategy, whether that be through position size or having some sort of mental stop where you're gonna exit. But I think that Gib is gonna be a, a pretty interesting one moving forwards. And then lastly, we are out of the track ecosystem. We are out of the block drops. We're out of all of that and we're in runes. So this is probably the most popular rune token out there. Uh, dog go to moon. The runes launch was a bit of a flop. If you missed the video where I warned you that it was going to be a bit of a flop, then check out the video popping up on the screen right now. Subscribe to the channel because we've been right about every major move in the market, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's ordinals. We have been correct on basically every macro analysis. And I told you runes are going to be a flop. Um, they did flop, but here's the thing. Runes are still a good token protocol. And when runes have a good name again, you're gonna see a lot of these OG rune projects, especially the meme coins, take off. So again, these last two, very degenerate. Please, you know, this is not financial advice. I wanted to give you guys uh, a couple projects that I think were fundamentally strong. And that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. What are some other projects that you think are fundamentally strong in the ordinal ecosystem? Or what do you think are, you know, degenerately strong? If we get some, some really popular meme coins out there, I want to hear from you. So please comment down below. If you guys are interested in joining our free Discord trading group, there is a QR code popping up on the screen right now. If you don't know anything about making money in crypto, if you've never been successful at trading, we're sharing all of our entries, our exits, our take profits, our stop losses. All of the information to help you become a better trader is in the Discord channel linked below. So go and check that out. That is all the time I have for today. If you guys enjoyed this content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, please trade safe. Busy jungle out there. Peace. Oh,